Genius is a brand new series coming out by National Geographic that focuses on some of the smart people that existed throughout time. And what better way to kick off this interesting and kind of different series than with one of the smartest physicists to ever live, one of the smartest scientists, and one of the most famous, Albert Einstein. There, there are scientists who are famous, but I don't think any of them have really reached the level that Albert Einstein has when it comes to like pop culture, because I still think he's relevant and people still talk about him in equations and this kind of stuff. And this series was something I wasn't really interested in too at first. I, I saw promos, I saw interesting things for it, and I was like, well, not, is this going to be like a you know, biography? Are they going to tell like a documentary of what's going on? Is that what this is going to be? Kind of like we've seen of the Hugh Hefner story a while back, but... This was a straight up biography, 10 episodes where we saw every part of his life and who, how he became who he is. And National Geographic put this out. That really surprised me. You know, there are a lot of historical stuff they do, obviously, but it's like documentaries and that kind of stuff. So this really surprised me. I like this series a lot. And I'm glad we're not going to get another season on Albert Einstein. I like that they're doing an anthology because they told this story. And it was a really good story. Throughout this whole course, we see Albert Einstein in two different stages of his life. When he's an older man and when he's a younger man coming up in the world of science and physicists. And it was a really fascinating thing to see. I loved both portrayals of Einstein. Both actors, Johnny Flynn and Jeffrey Rush, they managed to find a way to make it look like it was the same person even through these different time periods. The accent, the look. And they made him look so much like Einstein. I was really impressed with that. And it, it really worked. And those two actors really drove this show forward and just the way they talked and looked and made everything seem interesting and fun. You could tell that the that the man of Einstein cared about what he was talking about and there was passion in what he was saying and that really projected onto the screen with these actors and that's where you give credit to the actors making it feel like a real person. And it, they did. They made this man who was above and beyond in life, who was just known for this iconic look and this genius brain, and they made him feel realistic and caring. And in no way does this show glorify the brilliance of Einstein or the man himself, because there are times where there's traumatic things going on, both with Einstein and the people around him that he has to deal with, and it never makes him look like he's above and beyond everybody else in the world. It just makes him look like he cares so much about what he's talking about that that's what drives him going forward. And I liked that angle, and I really did appreciate it, because sometimes you can get a show like this where it goes two ways. You can either show the downfall and the hate and everything wrong with a person in a biography and to show how they're terrible people or you can bolster them up to be above and beyond and better than they actually were as people this one found a great way to balance out both of those where you see the brilliance and the genius behind everything einstein did and show the flaws of him as a character and as a human and as a father i thought that was really brilliant and i appreciated that angle that they were telling with the story Johnny Flynn did a great job of portraying the character in his younger years. I really liked everything we saw of him. And Jeffrey Rush, who is just brilliant in anything he does, honestly, he just knocked it out of the park, and it really did benefit from both of those guys coming at it from different angles. But I have to give huge props to Maleva. I did not know a lot about Einstein going into this series. I didn't. I didn't want to do research. I wanted to go in blind because I was hooked on the first episode. And the character of Maleva, who is Einstein's first wife, she was such an integral part of the story in ways I didn't understand or expect to see from anything about it. But her performance, the actress's name, I can't remember, but her her personality, everything about her was so heartbreaking and intense to watch so that you felt every moment she was on screen, you felt for her pain and everything going on with her. And I absolutely thought she was brilliant and just incredible to watch. And I just think she made the show bigger and better than just having Jeffrey Rush and Johnny Flynn play Einstein. She really added that gravitas that it needed to help benefit those two actors playing, and I just loved every second of it. The casting was so great in this, and you have to realize at times I thought like it got a little too political, but you have to look at it the way this is happening in the span of two wars. Einstein has been around in the First World War and the Second World War, and he's just been going through all these different things. And as a, someone who's a pacifist, he the way that he portrays war and life and these different things can be seen through the eyes of the enemy or even as the person he says he's working alongside with as different ways of viewing politics and war that may not be agreed with the certain governments that he's with at the time. 
And he did a good job of portraying that, seeing how he is a pacifist and how he doesn't want to get involved in the politics or the warfare or any of that stuff. But sometimes he's forced into these situations. And I thought that was brilliant and it was so beautiful and poetic in a lot of ways. And it really made you care about Einstein and his involvement and some of the stuff going on in the war and the FBI and these certain things. And it was so fascinating to watch and it just makes you appreciate how Einstein became who he is and it was a really fascinating story to tell and at times it felt a lot like the americans with the political intrigue and the spying and the espionage stuff but it never sacrificed that to tell the story of einstein and it always focused on einstein in the end the finale was incredible and just got me so invested in everything with this character this was a really great miniseries to check out. Season 2, I hope, comes out next year. I think it's just been confirmed that Season 2 is going to focus on Picasso, which is really fascinating because if they just focus on scientists, I think that would be a little, a little too boring at times. And that's where this kind of faltered. It was kind of slow at times. But I really did like this series, and it's definitely worth checking out. So Season 1 of Genius, the story of Albert Einstein, I'm going to give an 80%. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to end this off. So thank you for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video. Good luck.